My name is Camilla Marcone, and I'm a second year MA student in Medieval Studies at Fordham University. Before I begin, I would like to thank the Schoenberg Institute for Manuscript Studies for the opportunity to speak about my work. In this video, I will speak about a digital project which I developed with Dr. Marianne Kowaleski to be the final assignment in her current undergraduate course, Medieval London. The project brings together two existing digital platforms. First, the Medieval Londoners database, created by Dr. Kowaleski and others, and second, Layers of London, a map-based history website developed by the Institute of Historical Research. My interest in digital pedagogy stems from my own struggle during spring of 2020 to complete traditional research papers in the midst of the pandemic while coping with the loss of access to libraries and archives. My goal in designing this assignment was to create an assignment that undergraduate students could successfully complete during the pandemic while also learning digital skills. So how did we go from medieval property records in London to a digital map of those properties? We began by establishing the objectives of the assignment. The learning objectives were as follows. For students to gain experience structuring data from a medieval primary source to be machine read, to gain experience writing clear prose for a public audience, to gain author credit for online work, to understand the concept of linked data, to learn how to do checks for the quality and accuracy of online data, and to become familiar with the principles of digital mapping. With these objectives established, we set upon selecting the primary source and base map. For the primary source, we selected the Catalog of Ancient Deeds, English language abstracts, which summarize the content of legal records that deal with property transactions originally written in Latin. While these deeds are available freely in PDF format, the task of selecting these deeds was greatly aided by the National Archives editable versions of the deeds. After downloading the E40 Ancient Deeds Series A documents and filtering for those which contain the word London, but not the words Southwark, Middlesex, or Surrey, we were left with about 90 deeds summarizing transactions related to properties in London, located in London no OCR and minimal retyping needed. To familiarize students with the vocabulary of the deeds, they first restructure the data such that each individual person mentioned in the deed can be added to the medieval Londoners database, ignoring witnesses who as civic officials tend to already be in MLD. We return to MLD in the final part of this assignment to link it with layers of London. The base map shown previously is a map of historical London by the British Historic Towns Trust and British Historic Towns Atlas. Moreover, we specifically chose layers of London as the mapping platform because that specific map had already been integrated into it as a base map. Once the data is structured for MLD, students structure the data of their three deeds into a collection grid whose fields mirror the fields in layers of London. At this stage, students now look up the witnesses from their deeds in MLD using protocols for name linkage and add occupations and the MLD person ID number if applicable. The link between our property collection in layers of London and the Medieval Londoners database is made more explicit in the related links field. Clicking on these links brings you to the URI for that of individual and MLD, illustrating the need for linked data to our students. With this work complete, the students' records are added to our collection, Medieval Londoners, and can be cited as examples of online work for a CV or resume. As this assignment just went live on November 9th, our collection is still in the early stages. By the end of December, the 19 undergraduate students will have mapped just over 60 properties. And if successful, this project will be featured in the pedagogy section of the Medieval Londoners site. By linking individuals in MLD with property holdings visually displayed in layers of London, we hope to show trends in property ownership and use by specific social groups. I hope you found this assignment interesting and that you're encouraged to check out all of the fabulous collections on Layers of London and browse for Londoners in MLD. You can watch our students' collection develop between now and January at the link on the slide. Thank you for following along with me. And if you would like to reach out, 
I can be contacted at my email also at the bottom of the slide and enjoy the rest of the symposium. Thank you.